welcome to iWhip, interviews with interesting people. Today I'm here with Mooney from Opaque. Um, would you like to tell us a bit about uh, Opaque, who the members are, what they play? Yeah, um, with the band Opaque we're a six piece. Uh, I sing and play acoustic guitar. Then we've got Benny who plays electric guitar, synthesizers, does some backing vocals. Uh, Piper on piano, electric piano and keyboard. Um, Rufus on bass, Miles on drums, and James on flamenco and classical guitar. Lovely. And um, you've just finished um, your most recent music video. We have, yeah. Uh, what song's that for? It's for our latest release, Angel of the Street. And would you like to tell us a bit about the music video and how it was made? Yeah, we went, we went over to Amsterdam and did a, a kind of modern day adaptation of uh, Punch and Judy. Um, and really gave Judy a kind of, uh, you know, she was kind of lady of the night, uh, one of the red ladies of Amsterdam. Yeah, yeah. And it's, it's a kind of uh, a love story between her and Punch, but there's also uh, the crocodile pimp that you've got to worry about. Um, I see. So yeah, we just kind of ran around Amsterdam having a lot of fun, really. Did you um, do it sort of uh, within Amsterdam as far as within the public and how did they react to that? Yeah, um, what, what I did was my, my ferry ticket confirmation um, in order to like sort of uh, clear the streets a little bit on the odd occasion I just use my piece of paper and tell people that we had a permit to film there and then they'd, they'd wander off um, it was a little bit of a problem sometimes because you know people like to gather and have a look um, which ruins the shot but um, generally it was, it was fine and we you know we met a lot of funny people there as well yeah. to sort of get, get obviously get attention from mentalists when you're dressed like a mentalist yes <laughs> and um so you said you have some gigs coming up, um, would you like to plug those? Or yeah, what? absolutely. So we're playing on Thursday the 13th, which is tomorrow, is it? Um, uh, yes. Of November, so if it's out by then, uh, we're playing there in Cambridge. And then we're playing on the 6th of December in Peterborough for the uh, Green Party. Lovely. And um, I heard you have a tour coming up next year um, in Europe somewhere? We do. We have. Well, <laughs> we will hopefully be releasing the um, the album in uh, uh, spring summer, um, and then there is a there is a plan to go over to Liechtenstein, and um, we kind of felt like what with it being one of the smallest countries in Europe, um, it'd be a good place to try and uh, make an impact or even get a number one. Oh. Uh, so yes, we are. We're going to Liechtenstein to have some fun. That's a really cool idea. Uh, lovely. How did you uh, first start playing? How did I first start playing? Um, oh, I got grounded by my father for 12 months because I got done for attempted burglary. And so one of my friends, uh, my dad basically said, look, you, you know, you can either leave or you can stay in, do your studies, and you're grounded. Um, so I, I chose that and my friend gave me a guitar uh, for the year. So that year I just stayed in all year and learned to play guitar and came out, never been in trouble with the police again, kids. Lovely. Um, what would you say is your favourite gig you've ever played? Difficult, but probably Grassroots Festival 2006. Um, we helped organise our own festival um, and then also played a gig on the Saturday night. And so, yeah, after spending sort of uh, a week setting up a festival, to finally just play my gig. And I'd already told myself after my gig, I came off. Um, off duty, so to speak. I've been on duty, sort of helping organise. So you could enjoy the festival. So I, I then, yeah, pretty much came off duty for the rest of the festival till pack down. Lovely. Um, what would you say is the weirdest thing that has ever happened on stage or while playing a gig? Um, I would say there's uh, a couple of things I guess spring to mind. We used to have uh, a girl called Jodie in the band who uh, and, uh, she used to bring something called Dog Girl up on stage. Uh, which was a, uh, a cross, it was a, a baby doll with a stuffed toy dog's head. Um, but she had also uh, personalised it uh, by giving it sort of lady parts and um, also a, a tampon as well. That was pretty rank. <laughs> uh, she used to like to flash her boobs at the same time. So yeah, they were, they were interesting days. She played sax with us for a, a season. Lovely. And... Um so you said you're in the studio, um, and you've got a, sum a spring summer release. Yeah. Uh, can I ask um, how is it that you guys sort of write? Do you have one person, or does it all come together? I would say so. Two thirds, three quarters of it, I will bring complete songs to the table, 
and the, the guys will then, they write their own bits, I don't tell them what to write, um, um, and then we sort of, once we've got the song, we write it together, but then I also leave a quarter of the album unwritten, so that we can actually sit down and write together, and I invite the guys, um, mm -hmm. so on the next album, there'll be sort of two songs that have been co-written between me and uh, James, okay. um, so that's, that's exciting. Lovely, and uh, how can people find you online? Um, you could type in Band Opaque into Google, and uh, that's the same for the Facebook is Band Opaque, the Twitter is Band Opaque, uh, SoundCloud, um, and the website, all that jazz. So yeah, just type in Band Opaque, and here we are. Lovely, and if you're feeling lazy, you can just click on Mooney's face, and that will take you to some other videos of um, Opaque playing live. And also, I will also put a link in uh, for your video at the end. Thank you very much you, for Jeffrey. coming on to iWits and yeah, if you'd like to, click on Mooney and you can see some more of his videos or if you click on me then it will help you subscribe to my channel so you can come and see some more videos. Okay, bye! Cheers. See you later.